More reaction trails in uh, River State over the face-off between the driver unit of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers and also the River State Command of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps as the South-South Youth Initiative is accused top members of the National Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers of involvement in illegal oil bunkering activities in the Niger Delta region. This is as it insisted that the outgoing commandant of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in River State Michael Oga auctioned the trucks that were arrested while conveying illegal petroleum products based on the orders of the courts. Leadership of the South South Youth Initiative described the allegations and removal of the commandant of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps in River State, Oga Michael, as unfounded. Addressing newsmen in Port Harcourt, SSYI National President Comrade Imadi Savior Oscar described the action of New Peng and Ipman members who blocked a major road leading to the NSCDC state headquarters in Port Harcourt as contempt of court. That the protest by some individuals, the action against Oga was ill fated. This has affected a lot of the big masquerade involving, involved in this illicit act that they only want him out of the state so they can feed day in their crime. It is clear, I note, that Lupeng and Ipman have never acted based on the welfare of the ordinary citizen. Rather, they've always acted based on their personal welfare. Lupeng have not added their voice to talk about the affecting or the affecting issue of oil subsidy removal that affected the general masses. Rather, they went fast in their action because their truck that was carrying illegal bunkery was actually accosted, and even the men that was responsible for these trucks disappeared into thin air. So we are also surprised that he was immediately redeployed based on the protest of Ipman and Lupeng. Oscar explained that despite all effort by the oil thieves in the region, he maintained his high integrity and remained professional in his line of duty. He urged the NSCDC Commandant General not to act based on sentiment, but on utmost professionalism in the course of the investigation. We urge the Commandant General of NSCDC not to act based on sentiment for utmost professionalism. We are calling on the court that gave the interim order to go after the personnel of Lupeng and Ipman for content of court. The people involved in undermining the order of court should be arrested and prosecuted accordingly. We are also calling on the Commandant General of NC, NSCDC, Dr. Ahmed Odi, not to allow self-centered politicians and individuals to be a deciding factor of our action against his own men and officers. Rather, his action should be guided by fact and professionalism. We state that Oga should be commended for his fruitful effort in restoring sanity. Sanity, reduction of suits resulting from oil bunkery in the state. Meanwhile, the Commandant General of the Corps has deployed a new commandant in replacement of Oga in River State. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.